The trouble with honey. Pooh was hungry, but there was no honey to be found in his house. So he headed off to Rabbit's house. Rabbit always had honey. Rabbit, he called. Are you home? Come in, Pooh, said Rabbit. You're just in time for lunch. That was exactly what Pooh wanted to hear. He squeezed through Rabbit's front door. After many, many, many pots of honey, Pooh was ready to go home. Thank you, Rabbit, Pooh said in a rather sticky voice. I must be going now. Pooh tried to squeeze out Rabbit's front door, but he got stuck. Pooh tried to squeeze out. He couldn't. He tried to squeeze in, but he couldn't do that either. Help, Rabbit! Pooh called. Rabbit sighed. He leaned against Pooh and pushed with all his might. <laughs> he pushed and pushed and pushed, but every time Pooh moved a little bit forward, he slid backward again. Father, said Pooh. It all comes from not having a big enough front door. Nonsense, said Rabbit sharply. It all comes from eating too much. Rabbit hurried out his back door to fetch Christopher Robin. Silly old bear, said Christopher Robin. There is only one thing to do. We will just have to wait for you to get thin. How long does that take? Asked Pooh. About a week. Christopher Robin answered. A week? Said Pooh sadly. And what about meals? No meals. Said Christopher Robin. On account of getting thin. Couldn't you just try to pull me out, Christopher Robin? Please. Pooh pleaded. So Christopher Robin took hold of Pooh's paw, and Rabbit took hold of Christopher Robin's shirt, and they pulled and pulled. Oh. But Pooh was still stuck tight. That night, Guffer paid Pooh a visit. Time for my midnight snack. Said Guffer. Pooh eyed Guffer's pot of honey. He hadn't eaten in hours. He could almost taste the sweet honey, and he certainly could smell it. Hoffer, said Pooh. I haven't eaten in quite a long time. Do you think perhaps you could share a smackle of honey with me? Of course, Pooh, said Guffer. But just as Pooh was about to dip his hand in the pot, Rabbit showed up. Not one drop of honey for Pooh. He cried. Then he put up a sign that said, "Do not feed the bear." Time passed, and then one day Pooh moved just a little bit, but he moved. Rabbit ran for help. Christopher Robin grabbed Pooh's paws. Kanga grabbed Christopher Robin. Eeyore grabbed Kanga. Roo grabbed Eeyore, and they all pulled as hard as they possibly could. Oh! Pooh flew out the doorway like a cork from a bottle and sailed straight toward a tree. He landed headfirst right inside、oh. a hole in the trunk. It was a honey tree. Don't worry, Pooh. Called Christopher Robin from down below. We'll get you out. Take your time, Christopher Robin. Said Pooh, helping himself to some honey. Take your time. The end.